What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video we're drawing Johnny Lawrence from the Karate Kid. Let's get started in the center of our page and draw two circles for the eyes. So we start on the top left, draw that circle coming down towards the bottom of the eye. And we'll pull that back up towards the top. Now we're going to leave a large gap in the center and draw the same thing on the right. So let's line up the top of that circle, bring that down towards the same height, and then back up towards the top. Let's add a small highlight circle on the top left of each eye. So up against the edge of the eye, draw on that circle, coming in and back out. Let's line this up on the right. And it will fill the inside of the eyes in black. Now we're going to move to the center and draw on the nose. Let's start by lining up at the bottom edge of the eyes. Move to the center. Now let's start on the left side. We're going to curve the nose coming down and then up. Let's step up and draw a short curve going up and down for the bridge of the nose. And then from here we're going to step down and draw on the mouth. Let's start back on the left. Curve down and then up. Step down, draw a short curve for the lower lip. I'm also going to add a bracket on the corners of the mouth, just pulling these in. Let's move out to the side and draw the lower half of the head. From the outside left eye, we're going to step out, draw a large half circle. And come down, just underneath the mouth, and go out, and then back up on the right. Let's go back to the center and draw the hair bangs coming over the top of the forehead. Starting above the right eye, we're going to step up, just going to curve down, and then in towards the middle, and then we'll just taper that back up. Let's add another curve, coming down and out towards the left eye, and again, we'll just pull that back up, and we'll do one more, coming down, and then up, come in, and up. Let's add one more point in behind. We're gonna step up, go out, and then up, in and then back up towards the top. Let's go back out to the side of the head. We're just going to curve the head going out and then up towards the edge of the headband. And we're going to connect these two points with a curve going in behind the hair. So we'll start on the left, curve up and in, continue on the right side going down. And then from the sides, draw a straight line going up towards the top of the headband. And then we'll draw that same curve, starting back on the left up and in, continue out on the right. Let's tuck the eyebrows underneath the hair. We're going to start over on the left side, curve up above the left eye, and then down on the inside. So line this up on the right, going up and then out. And then from the inside, we're just going to angle up and in underneath the hair. Now the eyebrows are going to get thinner as we go out towards the outside. So let's start on the left. Curve up and in behind the hair, go in between. Now on the right, we're just going to go out towards the outside. Let's fill the eyebrows in black. Let's go back over towards the left side and draw on the top of the head. Starting from this point, we're just going to bump up the hair, go up, and then bend that in. Step back, curve up towards the top of the head, cross and then down. Let's do that again. Stepping up, go up, and then down. Go back up, curve the right side of the head going out, down, and then in. Let's add the ears on the side of the head. Starting from the bottom corner of the headband, curve the ear going up, down, and then in. And we'll add the folds inside the ear, starting back on the side of the head, curve up and out with a short line. Go back to the inside, curve out, and then hook that in. And 
And we'll add the edge of the hair on the outside. Starting from the left, curve up, and then in underneath the headband. Let's move down and draw on the side of the body. We're gonna start over on the left side, curve the body going out, and then down towards the hip. Move over towards the right, go out, and then down towards the same height. Now from the hips, we're gonna step up, draw a curve, coming down, and then up. Let's add a knot in the center. You can gap in the middle, draw two short lines coming down on the left and right. Close this off with a straight line. Now we'll add the end of the belt. From the bottom corners, curve out and then down. Flatten off the end with a short line. And we'll pull this back up towards the top corner of the knot. Let's go to the bottom of the hips, curve the belt coming down and then in. Let's fold the collar in the middle. From the center, we step over towards the right, draw a straight angle line coming down and out towards the left. Now we're gonna go to the center, angle up and out towards the right. And we'll trace this out on the outside. Stepping out, let's draw that same angle line and do the same thing on the left side. And now we're going to add that crest on the right side, starting with a circle, all the way around, and then back up. And then we'll add a simple fist logo in the center, starting right in the middle. Start with an oval, add two more ovals on the outside. And then on the bottom, right in the center, it's going to curve down and then up on the right. Let's go back down to the hips and draw two straight angle lines, coming down and out. And then we'll connect the bottom with a curve, coming down and then up. Let's add a trim over on the left side, starting with one angle line, step in and draw that twice. Let's continue working down with the legs. In the center, we're gonna step down, draw a curve, left to right, going up and then down. And then leaving a gap in the center, let's go to the left side, curve the leg going out and down towards the left heel, move over towards the right, go out and down towards the right heel. And then we'll round out the bottom of the feet. Starting from the left heel, curve the foot coming down, and then up, and do the same thing on the right side. Let's go back over towards the left and draw on the top of the foot. We start out here and curve up. Just gonna bend this down aiming towards the heel. We'll stop right about there. And then we'll bend that back up towards the inside of the leg. Now we're going to move back up and draw on the outside of the leg. In this bottom corner, we're going to step in, curve the leg going out, and then down on top of the foot. I'm also going to add a thick sole on the bottom of the feet. We're going to take this curve, step up, and just trace that across. Now we're going to move back up and draw on the arms. Let's start halfway down the side of the body, starting right here, curve the arm going out, and then down towards the wrist. Line this up on the right, go out, and then down towards the same height. And then from the wrist, we're gonna draw a small half circle for the thumb, and we'll close off the end with a bracket. Let's add in three fingers. We're gonna start from the bottom of the thumb, curve down, and then up around the bracket. Step down, go down, and then up. And then the third finger, we're going to go out, pull the arm coming up and in underneath the head. And just pulling the arm coming up, bending that in towards the top. And that's pretty much it. There's Johnny Lawrence from The Karate Kid. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.